Okay, so if I wanted to use this car, I see a lot of people that will get out of a car and immediately take a position like this. Okay, now it's not horrible, but here's the problem. Bullets go under cars <laughs> and they tend to fragment that this is concrete or asphalt, even dirt. Everything it hits, it's gonna come up. The bullet's gonna come up, the jacketing's gonna come up and it's just gonna shred you. You know, ideally, if you're gonna be in some sort of prone position, down here you really want to use the wheel because it's a little bit more covered look cars are not covered they're more of concealment with a little bit of cover but you really got to get away from these things because the bullets will zip right through them is there more cover here behind the block and the wheel yeah but how much cover is it if a bullet comes under the dirt under the ground goes through the tire and hits me in my ass I'm still gonna bleed out so you don't really want to be here but if I had to be here I'm a little bit more protected than if I was in say this position okay so that's something that i want to think about if i had to get up off the ground and i'll just roll out here so you can see if i had to get up off the ground i see a lot of people muzzle themselves trying to figure out how to get up off the ground their hands go down well the gun's not in the fight anymore if i can keep the gun up and i can get to a position where i can get up i'm going to be a lot more efficient in my fight so rather than going to the range and doing a car shoot of some sort and figuring out how to roll around with a live gun in your hand why don't you practice this crap at home look not everybody's going to get up off the ground the same learn how you're going to get down and learn how you're going to get up you don't have to be an expert and everybody's going to do something differently right all you need to know is what you're going to do there's nine ways to skin a cat and as long as it's efficient and effective and you do it better than any other technique and it works for you do it but you need to learn what you're going to do don't just take your instructor's advice and say hey he said do this, so that's what I'm going to do. Doesn't mean he's the expert in every all situation, okay? None of us are. Take everybody's information, use it, practice it, exploit it, and understand how it will work for you. Then you can assess, does this really make sense in the real world? That would be my suggestion. So again, if I'm on the ground in a position like this, two things I'm not going to do is I don't want to be as close to this car as possible. You know, I'll tell you, I'll give you another example. Get a lot of people that are on their knees and I see them come right up over the car and I've done it before and I've had instructors that say do this but it, when we're shooting these cars and we're actually experimenting and skipping bullets off of hoods and glass and you're vulnerable here <laughs> bullet's going to hit here and come up and hit you in the noggin you know get back off this car we talk about it all the time a lot of people say you know get up into the car a lot of people say get away from the car well my whole philosophy is this because I've actually been in gunfights from the car these cars are bullet magnets and a bullet's going to hit it and do a multitude of things and now your bullets multiple bullets in some case because it's fragmented you guys got to get away from these cars you can't stay up on these cars okay they're only covered for so long and it will degrade so again i don't want to be so close to this car if i got back up off this car okay let's say i stayed well being lazy right now but if i'm back here i can be just as effective from back here okay i can actually be more effective from back here because i can see more angle i can see more of what's going on and if somebody's flanking me whoa i, I can see that get to another position hopefully okay but if i'm tucked into this car i can't see any of that all right something to think about guys